Hello. I bring you a quick word of motivation from the word of God. And I believe this word of motivation and inspiration will go a long way to bless your life as you watch this short video. Now, the Bible in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse number 2 says that, And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of the Lord moved upon the face of the waters. And so we look at three negative things that happened to the earth. Number one, it was without form. It means that it was shapeless. And it was void. It means that it was empty. And darkness was also upon the face of the earth. And so it means, it means that nothing seems to work. Everything was in a chaotic situation. Everything was in, in a confused state. But there is one thing that the Bible said, that in the midst of the confusion, in the midst of the shapeless, the formless, the void, the emptiness, and the darkness, the Spirit of the Lord still moved upon the face of the waters. It means that it doesn't matter what is going on. It doesn't matter the negative things that are happening. It cannot stop the Spirit of God from moving. I don't know the state of your marriage. I don't know the state of your business. I don't know the state of your finances. I don't know the state of your life. Everything is bizarre. Everything is in confusion. Everything is in a chaotic state. You don't know what to do. I recommend the Holy Spirit for you. I pray that as the Holy Spirit move in the, end, in the beginning, may he move upon your life. May he move upon your business. May he move upon your finances. May he move upon your marriage. I know that when there is a move of the Spirit, things will begin to take shape. And I pray that you have a fellowship with the Holy Spirit. That the Holy Spirit will help you. Don't give up yet. Don't lose hope yet. Don't think that everything is over. Allow the Holy Spirit to move. Pray and ask the Holy Spirit to take over your life. To take over your marriage, to take over your business, to take over your finances. Whatever you are engaging, whatever you are doing, that you have come to a crossroad that you don't know what to do. May the Holy Spirit move upon you. You are in debt. May the Holy Spirit move upon your debt. May you be able to come to a place to yield yourself to the Holy Spirit. And say, Holy Spirit, I surrender to you. He will come in. And he will move, direct you, and teach you what you have to do. I pray that you begin to enjoy the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord be with you. May the Holy Spirit be your portion, even in the land of the living. Know that God, the Spirit of God, is always available to be a blessing. When the earth was without form and void, when darkness was upon the face of the deep, the Spirit of God moved. Enjoy the moving of the Spirit in all your situation, in all your challenges. May God bless you and may God be with you. Every morning I'll come your way with a motivational word, a motivational message. And I call it Time with the Apostle. So don't miss Time with the Apostle from today going. Anytime you see the video, enjoy it, be blessed by it, and share it for me. God bless you and God be with you. Bye-bye.